And utility companies tell us they have thousands of boots on the ground working to restore power this weekend. If you're watching us, you're some of the lucky few with power on right now. Very few businesses remain open and the ones that are have an hours long wait time for food, even fuel. Scarlett Lizjack has the latest. Duke Energy says Hurricane Helene caused significant damage to their infrastructure, leaving thousands of homes and businesses without power. The wind and the rain. We've seen trees toppled over from saturation, wind affecting trees and vegetation and other things that interfere with our lines and bring poles down. And we're seeing that type of damage, not just across Greenville, Spartanburg, but the entire upstate and in the western Carolinas. Duke Energy says they have around 13,000 people working to restore power. Many of them are from places outside of the Carolinas and as far away as Canada, actually. And they are helping us assess damage and begin restoration efforts. You may not see a truck in your front yard. That doesn't mean that people aren't working to restore power to your home or business. They're just doing it a mile down the road or two miles down the road because that work has to be done first before you can receive power to your home. While crews for Duke Energy are out making repairs, Farnborough County residents are lining up for gas, some even waiting hours. About an hour this time. The last station we went to run out after we got up there after waiting an hour. Residents we spoke to say they have surged high and low for the lucky few gas stations that are selling fuel, like this BP on Fair Forest Road in Spartanburg. We had to come from Woodruff to get to get here to, to get gas and stuff, so there is nothing in Woodruff. How did you find this place? We heard it on social media. All the buzz has created long lines in traffic, but not everyone here is in search of fuel. We aren't worried about gas at the moment because we can walk. And so we came to get food. They just got their roller grills and their stuff working. We've got hot food in there, uh, which would be for the first time in a, in a day or so. In Spartanburg, Scarlett Jack, 7 News. Now, if you are in search of food or even gas, we have several locations that are open. You can find that on our website now, WSPA.com.